So for the past almost eight years of The Sims 4, I've been realizing that babies are literally objects. Every time that I have a baby in The Sims 4, I'm not really excited for them because they cry, they sleep, they poop their pants, and you can only really do small little interactions like feeding, changing them, clothing them, aging them up, and like shushing them if need be. But I've honestly felt like babies in The Sims 4 are just nothing because you give birth to them, you get a birth certificate if you go to the hospital, if you have get to work, you can close them if you have nifty knitting, which is really exciting because more outfits for them. But I've always felt that they needed more, like changing tables, strollers, different cribs in base game. I mean, every time we get a new pack or so often, there's always a new bassinet for like a new occult because new occults, new babies, new bassinet, like vampires and werewolves and aliens. And, and I think also spellcasters too. So I mean, like there's always like new bassinets added to the game, but I always felt base game in general always needed more. But regardless, either way, Today's video is all about my room shell challenge for better babies for better gameplay. So basically BBFBG, which makes kind of perfect sense, I think so. So here's my room shell challenge. It's pretty small, pretty easy, and I think it's actually kind of fun to do. And it's not a house. If you wanna make it into a house, do what you want, I don't mind. But essentially it's just a room shell challenge to make it easier for a lot of people who don't like to do houses or roofing or anything like that. But ultimately, if you wanna know the rules, I will link them down below in the description to a Google document one of my Twitch mods made. And if you have any questions, normally all the answers will be in that Google document. So again, link down below in the description. But ultimately the basic rules is don't mess with my walls. And basically what I mean is don't move my walls forward like that or don't move them back like that. Do not delete my walls. However, you can change the wall height to whatever you want, whichever tickles your fancy. I always go with the first one because tall wall heights scare me. You can't change the walls to half walls because that's basically deleting my walls, but you can add half walls on the inside. You can add in platforms if you want to. Like if you want to add in a platform, go right ahead. But if you do add a platform, make sure you re-add the walls where the platforms are at. That way you're able to, you know, stick within the guidelines. Now, here's a bit of a workaround with platforms if you do the room shell challenge. Now, the game recognizes as these two different rooms. And so what you basically have to do is upload the entire like shell as an, as a lot. That way I can see your build and I can tour it on Twitch and it'll be easier. So if you do a platform in your build, just upload it as a lot and it'll be easier with the hashtag spring baby shell on the gallery. And again, link down below for all the rules. So moving forward, if you wanted the shell challenge, it is due on June 18th and I'll be doing tours on Twitch on June 20th. So again, all the rules linked down below in the description, but I thought it'd be really fun to do a real time like room shell. Cause honestly, I have not done a room shell build in general in a very long time. I'll link my video, my last past video I did of a room shell down below in the description. If you want to watch that, go right ahead. But honestly, I don't remember the last time I did one. It might have been when university, Discovery University came out because I had built some type of like teen university dorm room or something like that. And I don't remember how I made that happen, but I had a lot of fun with it. And I kind of want to do it again, just because I think it'll be interesting to see how it would turn out. But for this shell, I'm thinking of having like a baby and a toddler in here. That way I know I'll have enough space for both age stages. Cause like I said, babies in the Sims 4 only last like think three days on normal lifespan. And that's usually how long I play for babies. If any, I'll go long lifespan, but not really. But I think that I think it'd be really fun to dive deep into babies. So I think I want to put the crib somewhere along the lines of like over here and then maybe putting like a toddler bed over here in this section. I'm going against the wall. I don't know. I think for the wallpaper, I want to go with something with parenthood. And something that I loved so much about parenthood is that you're parenting your kids to be a better sim over time. Cause ultimately they learn responsibility, you know, um, character values, or I mean, conflict resolution, uh, responsibility, manners. And I think two other things I cannot remember, but they're so beneficial for like everyday gameplay because sometimes when your sim has a very responsible, you know, reward trait from being a kid or a teen, they're able to have a better chance of being promoted in their job, which I think is so, so cool. And like another thing that, that parenthood added 
is that they added in one of these special items that I really loved that I didn't think I would actually like. So it was these objects, like the Tum Tum Teddy Doctor playset and then the Boo Boo Billy Doctor playset. Now with the human Doctor playset, you're able to have your kids like interact with it over time and soon enough they'll get a mood lit saying, I wanna become a human doctor. Or vice versa with the animal one saying, I wanna be an animal doctor. You know, I really don't know how I'm gonna make this build work, but I am gonna try my darn hardest to only use base game and parenthood because I feel like those two packs alone are just really nice to use for like everyday like childhood gameplay especially for like babies for decorating so I'm gonna try my best if I run out of ideas I will just end up adding extra few items from that pack because something that I've realized a lot with using different packs I have noticed I've only have tended to use only one item from that one pack but let's say for example I'll use a chair from City Living that I really, really like. I'll use that one chair and nothing else from that pack. So I realized that I need to limit myself more and try to do base game and a single pack and go with the flow and hope for the best. Here's here's what I wanna do. I wanna make a functioning, uh, like not really a functioning, but like a custom made type changing table. And I know a lot of this happens in a lot of like different builds I've seen through my shell tours. And I think they're so cool. So basically what people use is like a counter or whatever they want to use or a dresser. And then they take an ottoman, like a simple basic ottoman, like from base game, which is more simple, more easy to use. And they just move it up and they kind of like move it around to make it what they want. And they put it right here. And then they change the color to whatever they want. And I'm going to do... Let's do like more of a, like a blue color. Let's change the counter space to more of a tan color to match my walls that I want. And then what they'll do next is actually take apart and find some stuff in debug, like a baby bottle. Let's go search for a bottle. There we go. So they'll find like random baby items that they'll be able to put up here. It's like diapers around here to stockpile them up, which I think is like really, really cool. Okay, like another cool thing that I would love to have in the game would be like a, a functioning daycare. I remember when they added in, I think when they announced toddlers, I was so excited about daycare. And so I've always felt that the fascination between daycare is that The Sims 3, yeah, The Sims 3 had daycare, had a daycare profession, which I found so really cool and fascinating because you were able to earn money from your home and work from home and meet new toddlers, meet new parents and kind of get to know them a little bit better. But then again, I was like, what if we had an actual daycare lot trait or a lot, you know, type where we can make our own daycare? And then, you know, these parents or whoever would drop off their kid every once in a while, they would run late or something like that. But then putting that right here, putting the baby right there, putting the little mobile over here and maybe a plant in the corner could do the trick. I do like that idea, but what do we have from parenthood? Because I want to use nifty knitting so badly to get the rocking chair, but I know I'm not going to use it or not going to use any of the other stuff from that pack. So I'm not going to do it. But I think what'd be really nice to add in this journal for the sake of whatever. And then we're going to add in this mixing cup for whatever reason. Honestly, I didn't think I would have fun building like a nursery or some type of like kids room because I really don't play with kids that much. I don't really decorate for them as much as I I used to back in the on olden days, The Sims 4, called 2014. And something I've always realized that I have a lot of fun decorating uh, kid light, bright light adventure type rooms. And so giving me this opportunity to do all of this is actually kind of perfect. Also, I like using this wallpaper. This is cute. Maybe I'll use me a yellow one. I think yellow never hurt nobody, right? Yellow makes the world go round. Ooh, maybe I'll go back with this one. Ooh, this is better. This is more, a little bit more neutral, a little bit more easier on the eyes. There we go, that's better. Gotta move these down though, because I don't like them on the border. Hmm, move this here, move this down here. So basically babies don't have a lot to work with in a sense when it comes to their objects. But we do have a few bassinets that came with a few packs here and there. Of course we have the one from base game, the one from get to work. That's a baby. That's a little bit scary. Anyway, we have a base game bassinet, a get to work bassinet that came with aliens. We also have one from Love of Magic. And then we also have another one from the vampire game pack, which is like four in total. But we're getting another one in the werewolf game pack in like a couple of days. So that's like another like different one that we're getting. So here's my thinking. Let's go with base game and parenthood for now with the 
objects that we can really use for them. Let's use one of the toddler beds. And I'm thinking of actually using maybe more of the playful one because I always intend to use this one in general. But I do like this one because it looks more colorful and more playful. Maybe we'll go with this one, but let's see. I don't know if I like the swatches on this one. This reminds me of McDonald's a little bit and I don't know why. Let's go with this one instead. We'll go with the basic one. I find this one's like very neutral, very easy to use and kind of matches what I want anyway. And I'm a very like simple, simple person when it comes to decorating for kids' rooms. I use a lot of wood tones, a lot of neutral tones, and I just stick with what I have and what I know and I don't do anything different. This is so hard. I didn't think like only using base game and parenthood would be this hard to decorate for a baby and a toddler. But now that I see it, it actually kind of is di very difficult. So maybe we'll just go with the simple route and do all the basic items that I already did, like over here and then over here, and then figure out the rest of the place later. So let's use a bunch of the parenthood um, countertops and do that. And we'll use a different variation. So I'm going to use this little end piece right here. We're not going to add in a stove because that would just be very dangerous for a kid in general. But we will definitely add in a small little sink right here on this right here. We'll change the color to this to match with the rest of the counters. I think is really cute and nice like this I think will be just perfect having the sink right here from the window and then having this open space here and this open space over here and then maybe using the cabinets that we got from this pack as well and seeing what I can do with that so let's do one piece here maybe go on yeah one piece over here and then this right here yeah I think it looks really nice a small little kitchenette we'll take out this photo and we'll use one of the bulletin boards. That way the parent can keep track of all their family events and what do they need to do, play dates. So hear me out. We have a high chair right here and then we get a little random TV, a small little dinky dinky TV, um, this one right here. And then we just move it on up using control nine to raise it up off the ground. And then we'll take it, size it down ever so slightly. And then we'll do uh, this. Maybe I'll do it like this have the baby like I have the toddlers like sit right here during their eating time and then I have the TV on this side on the smaller area because I don't think your sims can actually even use this for anything at all so I'll put the plant back where we had it before over here squeeze this back here your toddler is watching and eating eating their food and watching TV on the side the other part too is that toddlers don't have much but they do have some nice workarounds I do want to have like a small little table for them to sit at, but I'm like, I don't think that's really necessary. But I think I kind of want to look at the little campers kit because the little campers kit is new and I think it's adorable and I kind of want to use it. So there might be like three packs in here. I did say I was going to like go as far as I could with base game and parenthood, but I wanted to see what we can use from the little campers kit. Not much, but they have cute items like the Sasquatch thing, one simoleon. I'm replacing you, putting you right here because you look adorable. You look adorable in the corner. <laughs> oh, and these little string lights too that I saw that I thought were so good. I'm going to put them up near the wall, which I think would be so perfect. We'll add in this like blanket, which I think will be really nice in the corner or like in this like play area, which I think is cool and cute. We'll do green and blue. We'll take out this rug and we'll move that rug back over here in this kitchenette part. But that's all we kind of really I can technically use for from the little campers kit I find. I mean I used the majority of the items that I want to use. I mean this big giant dollhouse is gigantic I find that I could literally replace this table and put this here. I mean it, it I mean honestly it's technically only two slots and this window over here, this bay window is two slots. So I could technically put it back here if I wanted to. Maybe for the kids play area, we'll have like this over here. Yeah, that looks really nice. And you know, the, the curtains kind of work well. The curtains actually kind of work well. We do a little bit of red. Actually, we change these to red back here. And who says you need, you know, all the same curtain colors for a, ki for a kid's bedroom? You can replace them to whatever you want. But honestly, at the end of the day, I'm really, really happy with this build. I ultimately want to do another one at some point in the future. I just might make a second one and not make a video out of it, but just for practice reasons and see what I can really do. Because I have to say building sets or building rooms for babies or toddlers or kids in general is like so rewarding because you get to see that the full versatility of like what you can really do with them and how you can really make them, you know, not basic, but especially just like how decorated these kids rooms can be when you add in like different packs for different, you know, variations and sizing them up, sizing them down, like doing little small little tricks like this little random changing table thing I thing I made would be a really cool addition I find so but either way as always I do hope you all enjoyed it let me know down in the comments below as of always do you like real-time 
builds or do you like speed builds? Because ultimately I can do both, do whatever you want because ultimately I love doing both either way. <laughs> but I can talk your ear off all day, every day in a real time build. So be aware. But regardless, if you wanna do my shield challenge, all the rules are down below in the description as of always. And if you have a question, nine times out of 10, it is in the Google document for you two to see. But of course, if you have any extra questions, let us know in the comments below, Discord, Twitch, whatever have you that works best for you. But ultimately at the end of the day, I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below as always, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.